I'm Mikey Sklar at Holy Scrap Hot Springs in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. And today I'm going to show you how to roast coffee the cheapest way possible. And what I'm going to do here is use a popcorn maker that someone gave us. This is the Poppery 2. This popcorn maker is a very uh, popular model for roasting coffee and it's because it has one difference and that is that the air holes are on the side and not the bottom. So it, the way it moves the bean and blows the shafts off the bean is uh, critical to getting a, a pretty decent roast. So these generally run $2 at yard sales and thrift stores. If you can find them on eBay, they go from $10 to $30 because people know what they are and how to use them. So uh, keep an eye out for the Poppery 1 or the Poppery 2 models. Um, there are other ones that have the side shafts as well. We're also going to be using a unroasted green coffee bean. And what's great about unroasted bean is you can buy it fair trade organic for about $4 a pound sometimes even less than that, um, sometimes a little more depending on shipping. So I've been getting this from my local coffee shop who doesn't want to roast coffee for people um, and they just do it for their shop it itself, but they don't mind selling me the green bean for a good price. So this is a Sumatra bun and we're going to roast this for about 8 minutes and 30 seconds. We also produce our own power here, so using a little bit of energy for running a 1000 watt coffee maker or popcorn maker is uh, really not such a big deal. So I'm going to put in about two-thirds of a cup into the popcorn roaster. And this is critical. You don't want to actually put in uh, too much bean or you're not going to get a very good roast. So two-thirds is sort of the magic number. Take a look here. A little bit more. Great. And, uh, we will go ahead and use a timer. I just use the timer on my phone to roast this for 8 minutes and 30 seconds, which I find for the Sumatra to be a pretty good amount of time for a darker roast. Uh, on other beans, I use a little closer to 8 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. We are just past about 8 minutes on the counter and the beans have been cracking pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this off a little bit after 8 minutes and 30 seconds, and you can go ahead and see, uh, this is some of the, uh, the bean shafts that have been blown off during the process, and uh, we should get a pretty dark bean here, so we're just going to go until we get a few more cracks. I like to kind of rapidly cool this down. Yum! And you can see the difference from what we started with here, with an unroasted bean. It's somewhere here with the coffee bean. There's a lot of uh, resources on the web for how to use a popcorn maker or other alternative ways of roasting coffee beans. Although I find the coffee, the popcorn maker, to be one of the easiest, fastest ways and inexpensive uh, investments. Um, the other is uh, to buy green coffee beans. You can buy these on eBay uh, for some really good pricing. There's also, I would just talk to your local coffee shops and see if they'll sell you the green bean because the unroasted green coffee bean can be stored for very long periods of time and um, uh, might even be worthwhile buying in bulk, like 175 pound bags if you're a pretty serious coffee drinker. Um, and uh, anything else about this? Um, Generally, you know, the difference between roasting your own coffee and buying green bean and buying uh, professionally roasted coffee, the price difference is pretty enormous. We'll pay $4 a pound for the green bean for fair trade organic and up to $15 a pound for um, fair trade organic roasted by a local shop. So it's probably worth it if you're trying to cut back a little bit during our failing economy um, to just start buying green and roasting your own.